Well, hey everybody, this is Robert and welcome to Outbreak News TV. Well, today I want to look at an organism that we don't hear a whole lot about. And that's uh, Streptococcus suey. And I want to talk about human infections. And what triggered this is the story that I saw in this Thailand language uh, news report that came out uh, on Wednesday. And just a summary, and this is the report here, as you can see, it's in Thai. Uh, the deputy director of the provincial health office remarked that a 49-year-old female who was a professor at a university, and excuse my pronunciation, Fitsanoluk province in Thailand, and died from a streptococcus suey infection. The preliminary investigation revealed the patient bought pork from a store to grill it with seven friends on June 12th. The deceased was one was the one who cut the pork and she cut her hand. On June 14th, she developed diarrhea and vomiting and sought treatment at the Bangkok Fitzsanaluk Hospital. Later, she had bone pain, chills, and cyanosis and was admitted to the ICU. She became unresponsive and developed kidney failure. On June 15th, uh, the physician suspected Streptococcus suey, and the lab results confirmed that um, suspicion. Uh, the patient died on June 21st. So that's a summary of the story, so I don't have to go through the whole thing. And um, let's, let's talk about what is Streptococcus suey and what are some of these risk factors that are so important? So this is a this is from Nature and this is a pretty recent. There's a lot of reports out there. A lot of them are 10 years or older. This is from two years ago. And uh, let's learn a little bit about Streptococcus suey. It's a gram positive bacterial pathogen in pigs, which can cause serious infections in humans to include meningitis, septicemia, and others. Uh, the number of S. suey cases has notably increased during the past few years, with the highest prevalence rate in Southeast Asia region, where there is a high rate of swine consumption. The majority of increased cases are originated from Thailand and Vietnam, making both countries the highest disease prevalence stratum globally. About two-thirds of Streptococcus suey infections develop meningitis syndrome, in which deafness and vestibular dysfunction were the most common complications found among survivors. Although the case fatality rate among S. suey meningitis cases is lower than those caused by other agents, the rates of neurological and other sequelae found among S. suey meningitis survivors seem to be higher than other bacterial meningitis. Hearing loss was the most common sequelae found in about a third of patients, a third of survivors, followed by other multiple impairments, about 20%, with the majority of cases concentrated in Africa and Southeast Asia. Um, while pig-related occupation is a main risk factor for the infection, uh, Pig exposure is not present in all cases of uh, strep suey infection. In Western countries, strep suey infection normally occurs among certain risk population, particularly farmers who uh, work in meat processing. Whereas in Asian countries, less than 50% are occupational exposures. So let's go, let's go take a look at some of these risk factors and some other information. Risk factors associated with acquiring the infect include raw pork consumption, pig-related occupation, pigs or pork exposure, alcohol drinking, skin injury, especially during pork exposure, and underlying illness um, contributing to immunocompromised conditions. So as, as this 49-year-old professor in Thailand who died from a cut, 
when she was cutting her pork. Um, and that was the, the mode of transmission in her case, which turned out to be fatal. Uh, skin, skin injury is one of the main risk factors. Although transmission by skin abrasion was believed to be the main route of infection, a history of skin injury during exposure or before infection was noted only in some of the studies. Um, let me find a little bit more information for you before we move on. Clinical manifestations and outcomes. Meningitis is the most frequent clinical pres presentation, followed by septicemia and arthritis, uh, in which an occurrence of cases subsequently developed sepsis arthritis uh, were also reported. Um, majority of meningi meningitis patients develop classic meningitis symptoms, including severe headache, high fever, neck stiffness, and a change in mental status. Petechiae and other skin abnormalities were present in a few studies, ranging from uh, 3 to 7% among S. sui meningitis. Endocarditis is a less common um, manifestation, and uh, endo and ophthalmolytitis is also considered to be a rare manifestation. Uh, there were some cases of uh, toxic shock syndrome. Um, so yeah, th this is a very serious disease, and we're going to take a look at some of the some of the numbers that are going on in Thailand today. Uh, deaths are mainly resulted from the other complications rather than meningitis, including multiple organ failure. And if we look at this case, she did, did develop uh, kidney failure. Uh, DIC, disseminated intravascular coagulation, sepsis, and infective endocarditis. Now, it's, it's treatable. Uh, most strep sui isolates were sensitive to penicillin or cephalosporins. Treatment with high-dose intravenous penicillin G were highly effective in the majority of patients. Uh, tetracycline and macrolide resistance was common. Resistance was common. Uh, so there are a few cases of uh, uh, antimicrobial resistance. The treatment can be pr pretty long from seven days to 42 days. Um, the longer the treatment for the more complicated type of infection, I'm sure. Um, anyway, that's um, kind of a overview of Streptococcus sui. It's, it, again, it's, a, it's an infectious disease that many of us don't hear about it very often. And some of you out there probably never heard of it before at all. So uh, very interesting stuff. Let's go take a look at what's going on in Thailand real quick. So we can see uh, the situation in that country. And this is in Thai, so I have a translation here. So this is for 2021 from January 1st through June 18th. And so far there's been 257 cases uh, in Thailand during the first uh, about six months and 11 fatalities. So that's a, a case fatality of about 4%. It looks like that um, the provinces that are most highly affected are in the north. And if you take a look at the map here, you can see where the red, those red provinces there, and then of course there's other provinces around it that all have positive cases. But in the north it seems to be the most affected. Now let's take a look at last year. And this is for the whole year. This is from the Thailand Bureau of Epidemiology. And for the whole, all 12 months, they had 342 cases and 12 fatalities. And again, as you can see on the map, the bulk of it was in northern Thailand. So 257 already in the first six months. Definitely on a trajectory for a very heavy strep sui uh, season in Thailand. So anyway, hope you got something out of this. Hope you learned a little bit about streptococcus sui. And um, it's a... Uh, something of a big deal in Thailand and Vietnam and some of those other countries in that part of the world. So um, yeah, it's probably wise if you're traveling there, if you're not from Thailand, if you're a traveler from the U.S. or Europe, uh, to avoid e eating any kind of raw pork dishes 
and uh, handling pork of any type. Okay, and that's it. And uh, I appreciate you watching today. Uh, thanks for watching Outbreak News TV. Uh, subscribe if you like what you saw. Uh, like the video. Comment below. And I'll see you next time.